I went to Sheets just now because I wanted to get something flavorful to drink because there was nothing with flavor. And at the same time, I don't need anything. But I meditated in my mind and I said to myself, I want something new and stimulating to give me an answer on what I should focus on for now. So I went out to Sheets. Some just, uh, sometimes I don't really think of what I want to do because I don't want to do anything. I just let some vibe take me. And I'm like, ah, I might as well get a taste of something. You know, there's there's not many things you can do in the world to interact without spending a little bit of money. So I have a little bit of money, so I figured I'd go to Sheets to get some tasty kind of drink that's healthy. So I go in, it's 11.30 at night. And there's a heavy woman who's probably about 40. And she has got a 16 or 17 year old son who's the same height as her heavy, a button up the shirt, uh, button up the front shirt with like match sticks, like some guy with a frying pan and a spatula, and it's all, all kinds of little pictures, like the American continent, North America continent made out of a slab of steak, raw steak, and then there was flowers with a ball of bacon on top, and like eyeballs of, like there was a whole bunch of two eggs looking like eyes, like sunny side up fried, and it was like the whole shirt was just that pattern over and over and over, like a guy who, cooking at a cookout, a matchstick, a rowboat, or it must have been some Boy Scout thing. It was like bacon and burgers and bacon and meat and steaks. And it was all American. Flags made out of bacon and like countries made out of steak. And then there was, this kid was like I said, 16, 17. He was about the size of the mom. Like the mom was really heavy. She seemed like a really nice mom. I'm not putting her down. But she was heavy and out of shape and not thinking very well. And it's 11.30 and she's buying her son... Uh, some candy bars and some milk and some snacks. Her daughter, who is probably 10, is quite heavy too, was getting a big bag of chips and a candy bar and a drink at 11.30. And I'm thinking, you guys aren't going to work that off. And if you really need that, you wouldn't come get it at 11.30 at night tonight. You'd wait until tomorrow to eat it during tomorrow. But you're going to stay up and eat that tonight. And then you're going to go to sleep. And when you go to sleep with all that stuff in your stomach, your body's not even working on... Okay, if your stomach is empty, your body will be thinking when you sleep. But your body will be thinking in a way of it doesn't need to do any breaking down of any food in its belly. It needs to, or it doesn't need to, but can heal itself and work upon itself. If you eat a bunch of food before you go to sleep, your body's going to spend all of its time that it could be healing itself to, like, breaking down your food. And that's where all your energy goes. And then you wake up in the morning and you're still tired because you ate before you went to sleep. And then you wake up and you eat again. And it gives your body more of a need to break some stuff down. You might find foods that some give you energy more than they take away for them to break down. But a lot of the stuff people are eating, like the candy bars and the bags of chips... And that's kind of greasy hamburger. There's like six people in line at the Sheets window for made-to-order food, getting burgers and, and subs and hot dogs or four hot dogs at a time or a big chicken greasy burger with fries and a hot, hot soft drink. It's 11.30 at night. It doesn't matter if you're going to be staying up and you're going to move around and burn that off for a couple hours. But if you're going to eat that now and then go to sleep, everybody in line right now is either huge and obese or... They're really broken out with zits and not in shape, but they're, you know, not healthy. You can see it. It's not that everybody who goes out and eats like that is going to be unhealthy. It's, it, that's not the case because some people do move around and it's, it's more of a, what you do in the majority of the time because there is nobody who does something all the time. Nobody. You can't go through your whole life doing the same thing. You just can't. No one has. No one ever will because we are human beings at, in the world. And we feel like we have to do something. We can't just keep doing the same thing over and over or else we'll be bored. It's a, it's a thing to stimulate so we keep moving and growing. But that doesn't mean keep getting stuff like tater chips and, and, and candy bars because they bring you a feeling of comfort. Because they're something you like. They're not something you dislike. That's something that you can say you like. Why is it that a candy bar makes somebody feel so good? Because the world is crap. Sometimes. People can treat you like crap sometimes. But when you get that thing that you love and that tastes so good, sometimes it can take you away from all that stuff for a moment while you chew it and taste it. Mm. It's something going your way. Whether you get it or not, that simple inner feeling of your spiritual vibration is feeling that sense of peace from the food you eat because you're so stressed out about everything else. 
That's an obesity problem. When people do that, they have food make them feel better because nothing else makes them feel good. You can work on that. I know how to do it, and I'm not going to put it in this recording because it's a long effort. And it's for people who really want to work on their food habits, not somebody who's just a little overweight. Somebody who has a mental disorder that makes them feel better when food is the problem. I need food to make me feel better. I need something that tastes good in order to make me feel like the world is going my way and I can enjoy it. I know how to help people with that. So, until next time, that's all I wanted to say. But this trip to Sheets was definitely another reason that I did it. Like today, I was looking through my old recordings from four, three or four years ago, and there was one on there called Another Sheets Recording. And then there's Cassie Sheets Experience. And there's a whole bunch of Sheets ones because in the morning, we all act more like we really are when we're overnight. We have some of our ego there, but we, our brains are like sort of soaring and we're being more of our real true selves at night. Some people just don't have a true self. They've hidden it with a whole bunch of other things, like their TV shows and their favorite trending people. But on a whole, at nighttime, our real self comes more out because it's our light inside still shining when the light outside is out. But that's why a lot of people get crazy at night. Anyway, till next time, peace.